we did have a really good start and got up 17 nothing, and then uh, uh, obviously we had the uh, a big play uh, was negated with a penalty and, and then had a turnover, and we had a lull there in the second quarter um, that uh, we just didn't uh, have a real great rith rhythm on offense, but the defense did a good job. And then the second half we came in and talked at halftime, said we had to have, have another fast start and uh, have a sense of urgency. And I was really pleased with the way we responded coming out in the third quarter and really um, did some really nice things. We thought we had some explosive plays, and we were able to – uh, get those explosive plays, and then uh, I thought the defense was was phenomenal all day long, and so uh, great win, and we'll enjoy it here for a short time, and then we'll get ready to move on to uh, Wofford. Chris, how evident was it having Nick and Nate, which you didn't have for the playoff last year, to have them making plays today? Yeah, it's pretty pretty great to have those guys, and uh, that was a big difference from last year to this year in the playoffs. Uh, at least on defense, was uh, having those two experienced guys out there. And uh, I was really happy for Nate. He had his knee drained again late in the week. Uh, and he told me he felt as good as he's felt all season. Uh, I think he was uh, really explosive off the football. Uh, and uh, obviously, Nick continues to get better and better. And uh, I thought those guys made really good plays. I thought we were able to control the front. Uh, they do some really good things offensively. And I thought we were able to control the front and try to make them one-dimensional. I'm impressed with the quarterback. He's got some moxie. And uh, we were able to get off the field an awful lot. He said coming off the field, he told you that he thinks you're better than you were a year ago. And you agree? On him? defense, we are. Uh, on defense, for sure, we are because of you know Nate and Nick and Jabril uh, and a lot of a lot more depth in the defensive line. We were rotating three D tackles last year, and now we're rotating uh, five guys. So uh, on defense, for sure, we're better, and and uh, we'll we'll find out offensively. We're doing some really good things. We're we're more explosive offensively. We just uh, we weren't as consistent probably as we needed to be, and we want to be. Well, you know, I, you throw guys like Ty and Seth in there, and, and uh, I think uh, Mess has done a really nice job of, of uh, mixing in some play action things. We had some different wrinkles today throwing the football. We, had, we, we were able to sneak Seth down the pipe one time that we hadn't shown. Uh, and uh, I just I think we're a tough team to defend because of the ability to have quarterback run as well as ability to run power. Coach, you look at that defense, you hold San Diego 1-14 on third down. Was that a big emphasis going into the week of kind of putting them in tough situations there? Yeah, we had to get off the field. Uh, we did a good job getting off the field last year, but we didn't have enough plays on offense. We thought if we could get off the field, we could get our play count up on offense and uh, maybe wear them down a little bit. Uh, I'm really impressed. They, they have a, a tremendous defense that plays really fast. They fly around. They know their fits. Uh, you can tell Coach Lindsay's done a nice job with those guys. And, um, you know, they, they made it uh, tough on us a lot of times around the football. Overall, big picture, you've been through this enough times. How important is it to set this tone in this your guys' first game in the playoffs? Well, it's really important. We, yeah, that's something that we emphasize is the fact that you have that bye week. You better take full advantage of it, uh, not only in your game prep, but with your energy when you come out. And uh, it's it's just one win, but it's the first win. Uh, and we'll, you know, like I said, we just move on to the next week. But it was it was a big statement win for us to uh, do it. Thirty eight to three is a pretty good win over that team. Running backs are probably hitting their roles now with Lance being out. Now it's been a, a month or so where everyone's now kind of finding their way where they should fit in the offense. Yeah, they really are. And I've been more impressed the last couple of games with Bruce. He ran really well uh, at Illinois State, and then he ran really hard and well here today. And obviously, uh, Ty and Seth give us that home run hit, and, and uh, I think they're doing some really nice things. And they're just getting more and more reps every week in practice, and you can see those kids feel more and more comfortable out on the field. And uh, the one thing that Seth provides us is a really good receiving threat uh, out of the backfield, and, and that was a, a play that we'd kind of had dialed up for him because he has got exceptional hands and runs good routes. Bruce said after Illinois State he was running, he was having more fun yeah. playing. What do you make of that, and what have you seen well, in the last two weeks? You know, when he and Lance were sharing the role, I think everybody knew those were our two guys, and, and Ty was nicked up, if you recall. And so then when Lance, or yeah, when Lance went down and Ty wasn't one hundred percent, I think Bruce felt uh, the weight of the world on his shoulders to say, "Man, I've got to carry this team." And that was part of the reason why we wanted to take the the shirt off of Seth is we wanted him to realize that no, we're going to keep spreading this around, and um, you don't have to do that. You know, we have a number of backs, and I think he did. I think he relaxed, and I thought he just started playing football like Bruce knows how to play football, and he he had some really physically tough, hard runs where you thought he was down, and he found a way to get four or five more yards after contact. 
Allison coach? He has how I think he had a concussion in the first half. I'll, I'll get more information on it, and uh, um, but that's what I believe it was. You mentioned your offense kind of sputtered in the second quarter. I think Easton was one of some mm-hmm. five or six. Was it just a rhythm thing, or what did you? I think? thought so. I mean, it just—I think we just lost a lot of momentum when we had the touchdown called back, and then they made a great play. The kid uh, did a good job knocking the ball away from Easton, and we just kind of lost a little rhythm. But once again, I don't want to take anything away from uh, San Diego because I think they have a really good defense. What do you think about Pete? Jonathan Peterson set the record today for sacks in the FCS? He's just a really dynamic football player, and and uh, uh, I didn't know what his stats were and stuff today, but I. I he stands out on film. Every game you flip on for those guys, whether it's the first game of the season or the last game of the season, I love the way the kid plays. He's, he plays with such a great motor, and uh, all their guys do. I was impressed with their defense. Part of the fast start was your success on play action, a few explosive plays. Was that drawn up as you know what you wanted to do while yeah. expecting the run? You, you bet, because we knew they were going to have nine guys at the line of scrimmage to try to stop the run, uh, and we dialed a few things up. Uh, the one play to gents we thought we'd have um, just because we thought we could get them sucked up on some things. Uh, we also knew for us to be successful, Easton was after to run the football some. Uh, we didn't want to have to run him a ton once we got it to 24 to nothing. But the the big play that he had to get the second touchdown, uh, I thought was blocked up really well. I think Brock Robbins is, is really a guy that's blocking exceptionally well uh, at the point of attack and downfield. And he made a big block to, to set him free there. Chris, what, what about your running backs here? after contact today? It just seemed like they just kept more running. Yeah, I'm impressed with those guys. They're they're physical runners. They they know they're they're going to share the load, uh, and the fact that uh, they're all going to get their touches now, and and uh, they're running really hard. And uh, for us to be successful uh, in this run, we're going to have to be able to continue to run the football. And you know, I know the team we're going to play next is going to want to play keep away from us, and so we have to do a good job of continuing to uh, run hard and, and gain those yards after contact. You feel Shep wasn't good enough to go today. He was. He felt pretty good in warmups, uh, and we had him in there in the first quarter and stuff. And then when it got to seventeen nothing, um, I I felt our defense was in control of the game, and so we limit him limited him a little bit in the second quarter. And then when we scored in the third, we just shut him down. Just for fun, your reaction to RJ's catch there, that um, touchdown catch. I, I, it never amazes. It ceases to amaze me what that kid does. He just finds ways. He made a catch on our sideline uh, that on an out route, and he you know, drug his foot. He kid's a great football player. I was so glad that uh, um, the media members and the other coaches recognize him as an all-conference player, even though you don't catch 80 balls here, because he's a difference maker and a great, great uh, receiver for us.